Now, I want to talk about that tonight, making Jesus our future. I made up my mind, ladies and gentlemen, Jesus is all I need and all I ever want. Amen. You see, I'm a Jesus man. I can't live without Jesus. You understand what I'm saying? I had a man say, Brother Jesse, do you have problems with sin? No. Why? Because sin would separate me from Jesus. So anything that separates me from Jesus, I'll have nothing to do with. Why? Because Jesus is my future. Jesus is my present. See? So anything that would separate me from this holy one called Christ, the anointed one in his anointing, I will not have anything to do with. Why? Because Jesus is my present and Jesus is my future. What I'm saying is there's no future without Jesus. That's right. I didn't have a future without Jesus. Before I was saved, I was lost bad. I was a drug addict. I was a drunk. I was a, a, a bad person. That's all I'm going. I can't def define the bad stuff because it's too bad. But when Jesus came into my life, he didn't cover my sin with blood. That would be a paint job. No, he washed my sin away with his blood. He washed me in the blood, rinsed me in the glory, glory God, spin dried me in the faith, and made me the man that I am today. So there's no future without Jesus. Now, the Jesus I know is very, it's not like this. He doesn't walk around like this. The Jesus I know is boisterous. Jesus I know has got life. Don't have a bleeding heart, bless God. His back, the stripes on his back have been healed. The Jesus I know is exciting. So when I tell people about Jesus, I, I don't walk up to say, hello, would you like to meet Jesus Christ as Lord of your life? He can come into your life and you can be just like me. No, that's that Chris boy you want you talking about. But when I talk about Jesus, there's a, there's a fervency about him. There is an exuberance, a bubbling. Glory to God. I enjoy saying, I do these things in public, don't mean to. I mean, something just hits me. If I see something pretty, I go, glory to God. Woo! And I might shout a little bit. And it makes people nervous when you do those things. <laughs> but I'm not embarrassed. People say, you don't ever get embarrassed, Brother Justin. Why should I? I wasn't embarrassed to live for the devil. I wasn't embarrassed to get drunk, fall down on the ground, bless, got smoked, dope, do all kinds. I didn't, I didn't care that I was thrown in jail. Didn't make a lick of difference to me. But when Jesus came into my life, how come I have to become embarrassed? So when I pray over my food, I don't care who hears me. Sometimes I ask people to join in. <laughs> a lot of people believe in Jesus, but do you know Jesus? When you know Jesus, you make Jesus your future. If you're living for Jesus, then your words and your life must live for Jesus. When there's nothing controlling you and you are controlling every facet of your life, spiritually, physically, financially, you have made Jesus your future. Order your copy today.